Sunday. Our last full day here in Petri. Me and little mini me are headed to go do a photo shoot. I kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth what I wanted to do, like the professional ones or just have Fawn take some pictures. But why not? We're here. So Fawn asleep, of course. And we're gonna try to make our way to meet the photographer. Say good morning, Sid. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, gotta go. I see this crazy man over here. Ooh, ooh, man. This one right here. Yep, this one. So, I'm over here minding my sweet business, waiting on the bus on my phone, trying to figure out where the hell I should be going as far as walking. And he comes over here speaking all this French. And I'm like, I don't understand you. And then speaks English and basically proceeds to tell me. me that I need to get off my phone and I need to be present in the world and I'm closed minded because I don't want to put my phone down. I think it's time for me to leave Paris y'all. <laughs> well anyways, I'm still super proud of myself. The subways here are so much easier than the ones in New York. Like, and faster. I would take these any day. You still gotta force me to get on a New York subway over an Uber. <laughs> so we're in the Latin and then and he said something about the first university and when the students were here they had to know how to speak Latin. So we're in the Latin course. So pretty. So first stop is the Notre Dame. Notre Dame, Notre Dame, however you choose to pronounce it. The streets are crazy busy. Everybody rides bikes out here. I keep saying hola. You know what? Oh, okay. You know what I've realized, y'all? I know in interviews when they ask you that question, like, what's your biggest downfall or something you can work on? You know what you're doing. This is your first time here in Paris? Yes. like it? So we're walking through San Louis Island. It's literally like a little island. This is the most expensive real estate in Paris. Only 2,000 people live over here. All right. The home of Beyonce and Jay Z. Ape shit video. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm here. Look at the ceilings. I made it. Can't believe we made it. Made it. This is what we're thankful, thankful for.
that I believe the World Cup. Is it the finals tonight? Yes, it's the finals. Okay. France versus Croatia tonight for the finals for the World Cup. So it is lively around here, okay? Everybody has on their gear, their face paint, their flags. So it's kind of exciting time to be here. I love it. I've made it. That's the Eiffel Tower. So pretty. The amount of people in these subways is truly scary. Like, one more ride and then we're to our destination. Like, if I was from France right now, I would probably be just as lit. But, oh my God. OMG. <sighs> just had lunch. Everything is closing down early in celebration of the World Cup. Look. <laughs> it's insane. But um, I'm hot and sweaty, so we're headed back to the hotel. We wanted to go back to the Louvre and actually go inside and see the Mona Lisa, but everything's closing early, so it's not going to be open in the trains. I saw those trains. I'm not getting back on those trains. So might not get to see it this time because we're leaving tomorrow in the morning hopefully if the loads are good but it's been a great experience so pretty out here the people are okay i can't say that they're like super nice like cuba how everybody was so welcoming and nice everybody they're not like that here but it's been a fun experience Okay, y'all, did a quick little outfit change, laid down in the bed, rested it out for a second. So tired. Um, Fawn has a flight attendant friend that has a layover here. He works for Norwegian or something. So we're about to um, go, excuse me. Um, we're gonna go meet up with him at some pub. And we're trying to figure out how we're going to get back to the U.S. tomorrow. Fine is stressing. I don't really stress, if y'all can tell. Like, I don't like to stress not one bit. I just believe God got everything, so I'm going to figure it out somehow, some way. Like, he's going to make a way. Um, so, we're trying to figure out how we're going to get back to the U.S. tomorrow because every flight, every flight is just oversold, booked to the capacity, no space for non-revs, no space for Zeds. So, anyways, figure it out tomorrow. We're supposed to leave tomorrow. We check out the hotel tomorrow, so we won't have anywhere to stay if we can't get back home. Look at the lobby of my hotel, y'all. Everybody watching the game. Oh, and I don't know if I told y'all, but this is the Marriott on the street that I can't pronounce. So, guys. We're here watching the, the thing, but we're all searching for loads to get back home. At least just to get to the United States. She's checking American. She's checking everything. I'm checking everything. And Sydney just over here acting like a princess. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Literally. I mean. But in the meantime. Cheers. Cheers to another night in Paris. Because <laughs> we stuck. Like Chuck. <laughs> so... I don't think I've ever explained to y'all Z, Z, what does Z stand for? Zonal Employee Discount. Zonal Employee Discount. She said it. So, basically, when you fly for a certain airline, and if they don't fly to certain destinations, you can... Zed stands for Zonal Employee Discount, and basically, 
Zonal employee discount, and what it is, is it's an agreement between like 200 airlines uh, worldwide, and we and they all agree to give other airline employees discount. It's ba usually based on the highest Y fare, 10% of the highest Y fare plus taxes. So say for instance, to go from New York to uh, London, the fare is $500. 10% of that would be $50, and then you pay the taxes. So if the taxes are $30, your total fare would be $80 to fly from New York to London. This is completely hypothetical because my math is really bad. But, but it's also standby. It's also standby. Russian roulette, you'll get there, but you might not get back, which is the problem that us and about 30 other people who came to see Beyonce and her husband are now facing. We're all stuck like Chuck. On the World Cup, everybody ran outside. Did I tell y'all I'm standing on the street? That's like the Rodeo Drive of California, but in, in France. So it's about to be popping. Kiki, do you love me? Ow. What a time to be alive, baby. But the trains are shut down, so we decided to get in the street and march with everybody else. Why not? <laughs> yeah, she just said this is worse than when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, and she is so right. She's from D.C., y'all. She goes to Temple, so she knows what she's talking about. Madness. Fun, though. Nobody hurts themselves. <laughs> it's a very, very dangerous uh, people. Uh, yeah, yeah we were just out there. Yeah. Did the you police, see the police is coming yeah. for here. They're, they're right they're there. Police, you yes, see yes. them right here? Yeah. They're lined up right there in the middle of the street like a riot, like I said. So, y'all, things just got super real. Woke up from a little nap. And I was like, oh, let me go out to get McDonald's. Things have probably died down. And it's way less people on the street, but it's all the left. It's dark right here. Let me move. Um, way less people out there, but it's all the leftover drunk, belligerent people. And it's, it's bad. Went out there, almost made it to the McDonald's, and everybody came running back the other way. They was tear gassing. That was the first experience nose burning, tongue burning, sneezing, going the other way, trying to get to five guys, and they was tear gassing that way. We barely made it into the hotel, y'all. So I'm about to have to order a $40 meal from room service. I can't believe I'm in Paris to experience all of this. I experienced my first riot. I wasn't in it, but it's a riot. Tear gassed. What an experience. Update, y'all. 
<laughs> so I'm still not gonna just get all frustrated with life, but we thought we had one. Fondolin, Fondolin has a friend at Norwegian, and Norwegian doesn't do any any Z fares, any 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 non revving for other airlines. They don't have agreements. It's just them. But Fondolin had a friend, Fondolin, um, and he was gonna give us three buddy passes, Norwegian to LAX on a 12 hour long flight. We were gonna do it, and they had 12 open seats, no standbys listed. And when he was booking it, it was a completely full flight. Like, so now we're basically back to square one. And I mean, when I say we have looked at every option to get out of Paris, Paris direct to the United States, Paris to anywhere else in Europe and then to the United States, it's honestly Paris just... To the bus, Paris to the train, Paris pa to the Uber. <laughs> Uber. Paris to the pigeon carrier. The trains are sold out. Paris to Amsterdam. Paris to London. Woo! So, yeah. Basically, we're stuck. So, this hotel we're staying in. The ladies that were in the video um, earlier, I don't ever think I actually probably introduced them. One is Fawn's stepmom and the other lady is her friend. So, we were staying here at this very, very nice, expensive Marriott that we cannot afford because we're broke flight attendants so i think what we're going to do is just like play it safe play it chill and just move to a cheaper hotel tomorrow and try to get out today or we were trying to leave on the 16th so we might just stay for another night and try to leave on the 17th possibly even the 18th just because the way that loads are looking um, so yeah, this is just non-revving, zetting, flying for free that everybody just also looks forward to is, um, not always that great. And I mean, just combined, like, I took a look at the loads before I got here, but nobody, I mean, who knew that there was going to be, what's that soccer thing called? The World Cup. <laughs> nobody knew that was going to be happening. And then what else, something else happened. Bastille oh, and Beyonce. Bastille and Beyonce. All three, just, all three in one week and no, one day, basically. Two, one two days. Work. Bastille yeah. was yesterday. Beyonce World Cup was, was today. Cup Beyonce was Beyonce today and, and yesterday. So, I mean, yeah. flights are oversold for one. It's not even just a bunch of non revs. Flights are just oversold. The airline near and dear to my heart doesn't oversell flights, which I truly love about that. But all the major airlines do. It's just the thing that they do. Um, so it sucks. Like, there's literally oversold flights by 10 seats. And you have 50 standbys listed. And wompty wompty womp. And when you do Zed Fair, you're literally the, the bottom of the barrel. You're the, last, you're the last on the list to be able to get on the flight. So, um, it's definitely not ruining my experience. I've had a great time here in Paris. I really have. Um, but it's just the cost of non-revving. It's the cost of flying for free. You have to be prepared. So, anyways, we're going to go to bed. Check out tomorrow is at I don't even know what time. We got to go move ourselves somewhere else and figure out life again. So, holler at y'all tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning, guys. I mean, so we think we found a flight, but... We're like trying to rush so bad. We're running so late. Now we're out here trying to get a taxi and it's taking forever. Forever. Woo. Anyways, bye parents. It was fun. I'm definitely gonna have to come back and try to find a weekend where like nothing or a week or whatever, however long where nothing is going on. Because Coming to places when events are going on is exciting and so stressful. Um, anyways, let me try to stick my leg out here so I'm to catch a, a taxi. Good morning after. Street cleaners cleaning up all this mess.
I honestly can't believe I experienced that, y'all. Craziness. Wow. So I finally figured out how to pronounce the name of the street. Champs Elysees. <laughs> Marriott Champs Elysees. Yay! So, by the grace of God, we made it to the airport in 40 minutes after it took like 20 minutes to get a taxi or Uber because all the streets were still closed. And then we were able to check in with two minutes to spare, literally. Made it through security and everything. Now we're walking to the gate. So hopefully the loads are still good and there's still space. We're going from Paris to Cincinnati and then Cincinnati back to New York. It's supposed to have 48 seats open with 36 people listed on standby. <sighs> I mean, I'll be trying to like, believe in the power of prayer, y'all, <laughs> because, you know, some people like say, oh, you don't pray over things like that. Yes, you do. You pray for everything, everything. You pray on it, you speak it into existence, and you think positive thoughts. And that's how we get good mojo flowing. I believe that and I try to live by that every single day of my life because there's so many things that could throw you a loop and could go wrong but I choose not to think that way so we're here it looks crazy but just give me a seat middle seat and back of the plane I don't even care I'm just I can't be stuck here <laughs> so update guys we ain't make the flight none of them so I guess we're gonna sit here and try for one more um, and then if not one more night in Perry that's it I mean we're we're um, we're trying for Delta and I mean there's Delta employees all around here that still can't get on this flight and like I told y'all we're bottom of the barrel below buddy passes all of the above so I have to be back to work on the 19th it's the 16th so as long as I'm there by 3 a.m. on the 19th JFK time I'll be alright good morning guys I'm looking and smelling like yesterday this is day two trying to get out of Paris um, it's like 5.50 a.m. in the morning. We're at the airport. We checked our bags yesterday, so we had to get here early to pick up our bags, and we're going to try to um, hop on Air France and see how that works out. They have about four or six flights to JFK today, so let's cross our fingers. <laughs> Hope to get back to New York. So I'm finally making it out. I got the last seat on this Air France flight, but I had to leave Fawn because they only had two jump seats available. So Air France actually lets other flight attendants sit in their jump seats, which is amazing. Most American Airlines don't do that. Um, or US Airlines, I should say. I don't want y'all to confuse it with American Airlines. But um, her daughter is in a flight attendant, so she couldn't sit in the other jump seat. So hopefully they can get on the next flight. But I'm tired y'all. I'm about to sleep it out. This flight is 7 hours and 50 minutes back to New York. Um, yeah, so this is definitely going to be the end of this vlog. It's been extensive. It's been long. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a great time in Paris. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!